So the R35 GTR is arguably one of the best cars ever out of Japan. When it was introduced, it had a lot of cutting-edge technology and gave the exotics a run for the money. Now the GTR still has really awesome performance, but it does have a few weak points. Uh, the Achilles heel of the GTR is the brakes. Now the stock GTR has pretty huge brakes to begin with. Big six piston front brakes and four piston rear. Uh, pretty big rotors, but the car is really heavy. Like a GTR weighs over 4,000 pounds um, from the factory. When you combine that uh, with adding a lot more power and bigger stickier tires, when you drive on the track, you end up with brakes that are kind of hurting. Um, you almost can't get enough brake on this car. In our journey to find the best brakes for the R35 GTR, uh, we found these. Let's go check them out. So the heart of our upgraded brake system is these carbon silicone carbide rotors. Um, I guess the, for short, we call these CCM in the industry. This is a big departure from the traditional cast iron rotors that have been used ever since disc brakes have been invented. Uh, the way these are made is really unique. Uh, carbon fiber and epoxy resin is laid up in the mold to make a blank, which is the approximate size and shape of the rotor. So the blank is inserted into the autoclave with a block of silicon in the middle and the atmosphere in the autoclave is replaced with a controlled atmosphere eliminating the oxygen um, to create what's called in chemistry pyrolysis which is a chemical reaction in the absence of oxygen. Uh, the atmosphere is usually methane or something like that that has a lot of uh, carbon in its constitution. Uh, then the autoclave is heated up really hot um, under a lot of pressure and the epoxy in the carbon kind of subliminates out and leaves a um, carbon matrix. Then the silicon in the middle melts and kind of uh, gets absorbed through the whole rotor blank, um, kind of like a candle wick. Um, so this goes on, takes like a few days to occur and you end up with this. So you might be wondering why CCM is such a good material for brake rotors. One of the first things, probably the most obvious, is weight. Uh, CCM is one third of the density of iron, so it's quite a bit lighter. The other thing is thermal conductivity. Now, uh, there's a debate in the industry over some of these numbers, but I'm going from what Brembo, the company that designs this stuff and the originators of this material have come up with. So um, even though like some other companies may refute this, this is straight from Brembo. Uh, the thermal conductivity of CCM is 85% better than iron. Um, what this means is it's the ability of the material to transfer heat and the thermal radiance is 40% better than iron. So what this means is CCM is a lot better uh, getting the heat out of the pad to surface interface and it's a lot better at dissipating the heat out into the atmosphere. Now this sounds perfect, but one of the things you have to remember is when the uh, mass is a lot lower, you don't have the thermal mass. So the overall heat capacity, size per size, is still less with CCM than with iron. So the way to get around this is you have to make everything bigger. Now, uh, CCM is way lighter, so there isn't the weight penalty associated with going bigger, but a CCM rotor is a lot bigger than your rotor uh, iron equivalent. So in short, what this means is CCM is a lot better at heating up and cooling off than iron. It does both faster, which is great for braking. So even though CCM sounds like the ideal material, there is a drawback, and that's related to one of the advantages. Since CCM is so light, it doesn't have the thermal mass to be able to act like a heat sink. Because of this, the CCM brake has to be bigger. Um, that's not such a bad thing though, because CCM is so much lighter than iron. 
So when you talk about size differential, the stock GTR is 380 millimeters by 34 millimeters thick. Uh, that's for the first generation GTR. The second generation is 390 by almost 33 millimeters. Um, those are pretty big rotors, but they're dwarfed by the CCM rotor. The CCM rotor is 410 millimeters by 38 millimeters thick. Uh, it also has a uh, what you call a wide annulus rotor, so the uh, swept surface is a lot wider. So the overall swept area and, and braking surface area of the CCM rotor is a lot greater. So for the rear, the stock rotor is 380 millimeters by 30 millimeters wide. The CCM rotor is 390 millimeters by 32. So it's a bit bigger in the back. Also the annulus and swift area of the CCM rotor is greater. The big advantage of CCM over iron is weight. Now the stock front rotors are over 37 pounds and the rear rotors are over 36 pounds. This is compared to the CCM rotor where the front rotor is over 17 pounds and the rear rotor is about 16 pounds. When you add it all up, uh, it's a 40.4 pound difference between CCM and iron. Now that's a huge difference. Um, 40, over 40 pounds of rotating weight makes a big difference. You can feel that in the response and acceleration of the car and also uh, it reduces unsprung weight. When the weight's rotating, um, it kind of amplifies that effect too. So with less unsprung weight, your suspension works better. Less rotating weight, your car is more responsive. And less overall weight on the vehicle, that's always good. So the CCM rotor um, is vented, just like an iron rotor. Uh, it also is on this aluminum hat. The hat is lightweight. And because of the coefficient of expansion between the aluminum and the CCM is different, uh, the hat actually uh, floats on the rotor and the extra play is taken up with the springy clips. Um, the spring clips are there to prevent rattling and uh, funny noises. So it's much like uh, the hat on the racing rotor, uh, just that uh, the float is more and there's uh, inner and outer springy clips to prevent that rattling noise. In the rear, um, since the GTR has a this uh, drum type parking brake that's integrated uh, into the rotor, um, you have this hat and it's made out of uh, like lightweight thin wall steel. Uh, it's nickel plated for rust resistance and it, it also has floating hardware just like the front. So this is pretty cool. You get the advantages of a two piece rotor and the CCM but you get to retain the factory drum type parking brake. One thing about CCM rotors is they don't wear out in the conventional sense. Uh, what happens is the carbon oxidizes and kind of just subliminates out of the rotor under hard use. Uh, so one of the ways you measure the rotor to determine its wear isn't its thickness, because these rotors don't get thinner as they wear, they get lighter. So when you look, uh, there's a minimum weight that's laser etched on each rotor. Now when, the, when this minimum weight is uh, exceeded, then you gotta get a new rotor. Uh, these rotors can be really expensive, but not all is lost. Uh, there's a company in Europe that actually can uh, use an autoclave and put the carbon back in your used rotors for the fraction of the price of a new one. One thing about CCM rotors, is you have to have the correct compatible brake pad for them. Uh, we're gonna be running these Brembo pads that are mostly made out of carbon with a few other materials. Uh, if you use the wrong pad on the CCM rotor, you're gonna eat it all up. So the compatible pad is important. Another cool thing about the CCM rotors is when you use the correct pads, the brake system lasts forever. Um, in street driving, it's not uncommon for the brakes to be able to last more than 100,000 miles. Um, long life, really cool. Another great thing is 
almost a total lack of brake dust. If you have a high performance car, you're probably familiar with all the gross sticky black dust that gets all over your wheels seemingly almost instantly. It kind of sucks to spend an afternoon cleaning your car, drive it a few miles and your wheels are already turning black. With CCM, there's very little dust and what dust there is is like a fine white ceramic powder that's hard to see and also mostly blows away and doesn't stick to the wheels. Um, this is huge and it's maybe one reason why a lot of expensive exotics have CCM brakes from the factory. Uh, so the important thing with CCM is uh, you have to have more pad volume. This is because of the lack of thermal capacity. Uh, the CCM brakes put more heat into the calipers, so the calipers have to deal with that. So of course these calipers are designed especially for the CCM rotors. Um, these are Brembo calipers. Uh, they're monoblock construction. Uh, what monoblock means is that they're forged out of one piece of aluminum. Uh, the stock calipers are two-piece and they're bolted together. The, the monoblock uh, for the weight is a lot stiffer. Uh, you know, it's one homogeneous piece with this forged in bridge. No fasteners, no joint to flex. They're extremely stiff compared to the stock calipers for the same weight. Other cool features is uh, they're just like racing brakes. They have uh, vented titanium pistons. Uh, this keeps the heat out of the fluid because titanium has poor thermal conductivity compared to your regular steel pistons that are found in the uh, stock brakes. And uh, they have full seals. Um, a lot of racing type brakes don't have uh, these external seals, so the internal seal life is short. So this is pretty close to the ultimate streetable caliper. In the rear, uh, the caliper is also a monoblock for more stiffness. Um, it has conventional pistons, but the rear doesn't generate as much heat as the front. So monoblock construction, a little bit bigger for more pad volume. Uh, still super cool cutting edge stuff. Now you might wonder why we're not using uh, braided stainless brake lines. Um, what a lot of people don't know about the GTR is after 2013, Nissan really improved the brake line stiffness so it doesn't expand under uh, pressure. Uh, so this is like uh, the exact same thing that braided steel lines do, uh, but they're OEM and uh, you don't have to mess with it. So. On your newer GTRs, they have these uh, stiffer brake lines already in place. So there, there's some aftermarket CCM choices for the GTR, but one of the things about those is they always work around the stock calipers and stock rotor sizes. So you get the light weight, but you don't necessarily get the thermal capacity. What we like about uh, these brakes is they're designed for the car by Brembo in collaboration with Nissan. So these CCM brakes were available in 2020 on the Nismo Edition GTR in Japan. Since we got these brakes, Nissan has made them available on the 2021 Nismo Edition GTR in the United States as well. So these brakes are in the US parts system. For brake fluid, we're going to be using Endless RF650. Uh, one of the things about this fluid is it, it's very low compressibility compared to other fluids on the market. So this gives you a really good pedal. The low compressibility is across the temperature range. Um, this, this fluid also has a very high boiling point and uh, it doesn't have too much of an affinity to moisture compared to some other super high performance fluids. Uh, we use this in a lot of race and time attack cars and have used it with great success. Uh, it gives the best pedal feel maybe out of any fluid. So that's what's going in our car.
If you'd like us to build your GTR, go to MotoIQ.com, click on the Garage Services link, and fill out the form. We'll begin back to you. So if you like our content and want to see more, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us on social media, and we'll see you next time.